Welcome back. I am Mr. Sean, and this is Love at First Sight, the visual novel by Sakai Project. Her side. So it looks like we're going to get, get a chance to see what's going on in her mind, what's happening now. So, at least that's what I think. Don't know yet. But, recap of last time. Oh, yes, we got a little handsy. Ooh, the handsy were going crazy. I love that, love that. Hope you like the intro to this video, because, oh, I had to put that back in there, because it's just cute, awkward, and what the heck's going on here? So, let's get back to it. <clears throat> Last bell rings, and school day ends, so I grab my bag and leave the classroom. Most of the time, I leave as quickly as I can. Oh, I leave as quickly as I can, because I... Because I don't want to get caught by Sarukawa-san. Kawa, but today it's because I want to hurry to meet Momoto Senpai. Lately coming to school has been something to look forward to, and I can't help but feel excited about it. It's even better because I keep running into Senpai. The old me would never believe it's possible to be this happy at school. I thought it easy. It's not to say that Sarukawa-san has stopped bullying me. Sometimes Momoto Senpai is there to intervene, but I don't want. I don't know if that's actually been the best idea. Sadakawa has stopped bullying me as much as she used to, but now she's, when she does it, her attacks are even more violent than before. Even so, I don't hate going to school anymore. The joy I feel like when I spend time with Momoro Senpai is much more powerful than the sorrow brought on by those painful incidents. I couldn't meet up with Senpai this morning, but he must have been thinking about me. He came to eat with me at lunch and stayed with me the whole lunch period. We talked about the movie you saw yesterday. I really had a lot of fun. Oh, okay, so this is afterwards. Oh, okay. <clears throat> The movie itself was interesting, but that was my first time seeing a movie with another person. I also had a lot of fun just talk, walking around with him. <clears throat> Zepai wasn't upset at being seen with me in public either. We even held hands when I asked. It was wonderful. Now that I think about it, that was a date yesterday, wasn't it? I wonder what Senpai thinks of that. I really miss him and I want to see him again. I usually find him by the school's gates, but today... I want to be here right at this classroom. I stand just outside the hallway so as not to detract any wandering eyes. If I see Momoro Senpai, I'll call out to him. Second year students trickle out of the classroom to head down the hallway without paying me any mind. I don't see Senpai yet though. Just as I'm worrying though, worrying that I might have missed him, I overhear two second year students talking in the hallway. Alright, time to go. Wait, where's Baku? Oh, Mamoru said he couldn't find the handout and went to look in his locker for it. I'm guessing. At any rate, he's going home with you-know-who again, so I doubt we'll be seeing him. This catches my attention. They're talking about Mamoru Senpai? I think, is Makun his nickname? I guess those are his friends? Ah, really? We haven't gotten home together in a long time. He's making me so sad. He never really went home with him in the first place, you know. We live in completely opposite directions. That's the principle of the thing. We at least walked to the gates together, and now we don't even do that. And it's because he's spending so much time with that girl. Do they mean me? Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? It's not fair. How long is he going to keep this up? I don't know how much longer I can survive like this. Just let him do what he wants to do. I'm sure he'll return to us when the time is right. Then again, it's been quite a while. Maybe we should find her ourselves. Oh, I can't believe it. Tomo agrees with me on something. Alert the media. Okay, tomorrow. We'll go find her. I've got this all planned out. I start to feel the overwhelming tightness in my chest. Yes, girl. Run! I can feel my good mood dissolving rapidly. I, I can't bear to listen anymore and retreat downstairs as quietly as I can. She probably took us in the wrong direction. Finally! The day when Sachan will grace us with her presence is almost here. I run simulations of our faithful meeting countless times in my head, so I'll be ready for anything. I'm totally prepared to be super friendly, older sister type profession she needs. Hey Tomo, are you listening? Huh? Oh. I thought I saw someone just now. Yeah, I'm listening. Something about being super annoying older sister, right? Pretty much. What? No! You did that on purpose! <clears throat> Yep, I sure did. You meanie! Oh, 
Uh oh. What's going on here? I guess I really have stolen him from his other friends. One of those are the friends he said he was going to introduce me to yesterday. He did say he told them about me. She said she couldn't survive like this? I guess she meant without Momoro Senpai. Momoro Senpai said it was okay to meet them, but I don't know if that's really the case. His friends must hate him for spending so much time with me. I didn't realize how much trouble I've caused him. My heart feels heavy. My body feels heavier, like the weight of this whole situation is just dragging me down. My vision darkens. God dang, girl! Whoa! I don't have the strength to even lift my head as I walk forward. The asphalt looks grayer than normal. Senpai is going to lose all his friends because of me. I can't let that happen. When I was with him, he didn't even forget my troubles. No, I only wanted to forget. But I can never forget what I am. I only have one eye. No one could ever love a freak like me. The fact that Senpai was so nice to me made me so happy. And so, he let me forget. I can't let my misfortune affect him. I can never forgive myself if his life is ruined because of me. I could survive if he ended up painting me. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe his life isn't ruined yet. He doesn't hate me yet. I have to act fast. <clears throat> Yesterday, my mom and said he'd be there for me if I needed him. But I can't let him shoulder my burdens. If I, let him, if I had let him, I wouldn't be able to save him. I was so happy that he said it, but I, I suppose it was good that I was at a, a loss for words back then. Even so, I always remember the kindness he showed me. He bought me a cell phone strap, too. At least I have this to remember him by. When things go wrong again, at least I'll have this to bring back all the good memories. Like yesterday, the whole time I spent with Senpai and his kind voice. If I had that much at least, I'll be okay. I'll be okay even if I have left of him is his memory. Before I realize it, the school is far behind me, and I've wandered onto one of the side streets I usually take to get home. I find I can barely stand, I can lean against the telephone pole, still staring at the ground. Rain is starting to fall. The sun is out, but it doesn't matter, I guess. A black sheen seems to ooze over the asphalt as, as it drinks in the heavy drops. <laughs> That's strange. Every day for the past few weeks, it's been bright and sunny. I've gotten so used to that, I almost forgot what it means to rain. Oh, come on, girl! Oh, jeez. I, I, I have to do it. I have to say goodbye to Senpai. When blizzard birds blurs as the heavy drops continue to fall. Go. Your side. I stayed in class longer than I meant today. Sachi's probably been waiting for me here for a while. I usually have the first one out the door, sometimes leaving a little too early. But Sachi always beats me at the school day gates since her classroom is closer to them than is mine. I change my shoes and rush out to, out to school. Sachi usually comes running to meet me when she sees me walking to the gates, but now I'm past it and Sachi's nowhere to be found. Did she already go home? I scan, the street. I scan the street for any sign of her, and I see that she's still only a little ways ahead of me. Though it doesn't look like she's noticed me yet. Who's catching up to her? Sorry, I didn't mean to take so... Sachi? She turns to me, her face is almost parallel to the ground, and her usual smile has been placed with much darker lurk. Look. Has she been crying? Mamoru Senpai, thank you so much for all you've done for me. But I'll be fine on my own from now on. I don't mind going home and having lunch by myself, so... Sachi's voice wavers, and I'm certain something bad must have happened to her when she's saying this. Well, that's not really bad, just a lot of self-driven thought here. Take a step forward, determine to find out what. What are you saying all of a sudden? Does Hadokawa do something to you again? No, she's not involved. I think it's just... I just think it's best if you had nothing to do with me. That's all. What? I don't understand why you think that. There's nothing to understand. Her head is still down, but her voice is fraying, becoming hysterical. If this is another trick, it's not funny. I'm here with you because I want to be. Do you really want to be alone at school again? I wouldn't... That's, that's a little, a little heavy, but... Stop. Please. At least tell me why. So she turns her back to me and starts running before I even finish. Wait! I run after her, sprinting. I catch her by the shoulder. I come to a stop and I force her to turn her to face me, but she refuses to look at me. 
God dang it. Please stop. I know you're sent on being my friend, but if you do, I... She looks up at me. Her face is sopping wet from the giant tears streaming from her eye. I don't know what you're trying to say, but like I said, if something happened, tell me. Your friends, they hate that you hang out with me. My friends? I did tell her I'd introduce her to a Kenyan Tomo, but I can't imagine that they say something like that. Which friends were these? Did you actually talk to them? They never say anything like that. You must have misunderstood something. You're the one who's misunderstanding. But you still think that when your friends abandon you, if your friends, if you stay with friends with me, you lose everything. God dang, girl. They won't abandon me. But any friend who does this is not someone I want to be friends with anyway. Why do you have to be so nice? Stop it. It's already hard enough to accept that you're going to abandon me yourself. Oh, my. Well, I definitely understand that she's been in a very... <laughs> she's been very closed off to the world, so any light opening can always also be have a downside or a backward spin that she, that fear can definitely come into and just start wreaking havoc on your brain with. And that's definitely what she's been doing. I'm not going to abandon you, either. Never. Why do you have to say things like that? Do you want to be my friend so badly that you throw away your whole life? Why? I don't get it. Yes, I do. I want to be your friend forever. But why? It's stupid. Can't you trust that I have a good reason for doing this? I can't believe you would do something so stupid, senpai. She trails off. I know what she wants me to say. I know I can't say it. I have to tell her anything, everything that's on my mind. I didn't realize it until now, just now. But I know I why I want to be with her. I... I love you, Sachi. Huh? Yeah, huh? Um... Uh, <laughs> room. Whoa! What's going on here? Um... Uh, you know... Granted, everything leading up to this, you could definitely think, okay, he probably does have... certainly has feelings for her. Certainly wants to be a good person to help her. But really, we really hadn't discovered on his side the love factor just yet. So this is a little bit of a jump of what's going on right now, but let's see how this plays out. Go to the movie yesterday, together yesterday. That was more or less a date. I guess you didn't realize it. What? what? That, that? I understand if you hate me. Uh, of course I don't hate you, Senpai. I, I really like you. I love you. If that's true, don't tell me to abandon you. I'm happy when I'm with you, and I can never dream of abandoning you. Really? You're really happy with me? I really am. I I know I, I couldn't stand it if you abandoned me then, but I'm only going to cause you trouble. That's fine. As long as you're by my side, I can handle any trouble that comes our way. Sen, hi. I go to her and take her into my arms, and she starts crying her eye out. Properly, her eye, one eye. She sobs with my chest for a long while. <clears throat> when Chimai comes down, I wipe away her tears. It's time we started heading home. She told me about my friends who, from the sound of it, were definitely Tomo Akemi, and what she heard them saying. Hmm, that doesn't seem like something they'd say. You must have misunderstood something. I'll ask them about it tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I said, even if you heard them right, I won't abandon you. Thank you, Sa. She's still upset. There's awful... There's genuine relief in her voice. We soon arrive at Sachi's house. I'll deal with my friends. Don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, senpai? Yes. Can... Can I be your... Girlfriend? Do you want to? Yes! Well then, I guess this is the official start of our relationship. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Sergio looks so happy throughout this whole awkward exchange. It makes me makes me that much happier seeing her like that. And I smile back at her. Um, then see you tomorrow. Wrong voice. Yep, see you tomorrow. Chimin unlocked everyone! Everyone's together. Next day at lunchtime. 
I mean, with Tomo and a Kimmy in our usual spot, the empty classroom. But this time, we got a fourth person joining us. Um, I'm Usui Sachi. Nice to meet you. Ochiai. Oh, Tomo Yori. A pleasure. I'm Tsunami Akemi. Nice to meet ya. Of course you would, of course you would do that. Sorry about yesterday. I, I guess you were the one I saw running away. Now that I review our conversation went, I can see how you could have misunderstood our intentions. Yeah, we're really sorry. We don't hate you, Sacha. Not even a little bit. It, it's okay. I was the one eavesdropping when I should have been, and I almost caused trouble between you two and Momono-senpai. Please forgive me. No mention of why she got called Sachan. Yeah, probably a little awkward at this point, so yeah, a little slight. This morning I told Tomo and Akemi about what happened yesterday, and Sachi definitely misunderstood what they meant. They didn't want to get her out of my life. Of course, they just really wanted to meet her. In fact, I say it worked out perfectly since it gave us an excuse to bring Sachi to the classroom for lunch. Absolutely. Well, I don't think there's any ill will between us now, so I hope we can be friends from here on out. Right, right. Actually, when I heard about what happened, I knew I just had to meet you right away and make it right between us, Sachan. So yeah, let's be friends. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> I, yes, I like that. Um, Sachan? Come on. Come on. If you're going to be bothered to her, at least wait until she knows you better. I'm not being a bother to her, so yeah, do you mind if I call you Sachan? Your name is Sachi, so Sachan is a perfect nickname. Um, okay. Sure. Yay, thanks! Oh yeah, so you can call me whatever you want, okay? Okay then. Uh, Akemi Senpai? You don't have to be so formal. How about Achan or Akemin? 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 Cut it out. She's already got enough to deal with right now. Tomo, help me out here. What do you want me to do? Stop Akemi from being Akemi? The two of us can't really get a word in edgewise while Akemi is going on like this, so Tomo starts plunging the rap painting Akemi's mouth <laughs> with food from her lunchbox like he did last time this happened. <laughs> Good job, Tomo. I mean, I can see how Akemi and Tomo could probably be a thing, but uh, they know each other well enough that, they, but at the same time, that could be the same reason why, like, you know what, I don't really want to be with this person for the rest of my life. <laughs> Poor Akemi. <clears throat> Akemi's always too loud, and Tomo doesn't have the best manners. But I promise you, they're good people. Okay. Hey, don't talk about us like we're right in front. Mm -hmm. Akemi's recovering from Tomo's intervention more quickly than usual. But Tomo's ready for it, and he crams more food in her mouth as soon as she opens it. Those two have gone pretty close. Sorry, it's not easy keeping those two in check. <laughs> if they get out of hand, just tell them to shut up. No, I, I shouldn't. That's no, fine, they're used to it. You just have to show them who's boss. Mm. We're not owls, you know. You should listen to boys who say such mean things, Sachan. Be friends with me instead. O okay, yeah, sure. You know Sachi shies away from Rampage and Kemi. She's smiling a little. She does look like she's having fun. Maybe she won't have such a hard time getting used to us after all. I know. Since we're all trying to get to know Sachan better... Why don't the four of us go out this weekend? Akemi, don't pressure her into doing things. I'm not pressuring her. So what do you think? Uh, so soon after meeting you guys? Are you sure? I don't see why not. But where would we go? Oh, why? I just remembered that there's some kind of event happening in town. It's got food stands and everything. Festival time. Really? I didn't hear about, hear about anything like that. What kind of event are we talking about? No idea. Okay. Uh, Kimmy? What the hell? <laughs> I saw a flyer on it, some bulletin board somewhere. They even had a picture of the food stands. Well, if it's a festival, we probably won't even have to use much money anyway, so why don't we go check it out? If it's just in town, we can even walk there without too much trouble. Uh-huh. Right, right. I'll find out where and when, and we'll be all set. Hmm. I don't know. Sachi, are you okay with this? Yeah, I want to go. Thank you for doing all this for me. Don't worry about it. We're going to hang out a lot more after this, aren't we? I guess we're finally going out as a group. This is basically a dull date, isn't it? I don't think that's really what Akemi intended, but she and Tomo are almost a couple, no matter how you look at it. Come to think of it, I haven't really explained my relationship with Sachi to these two yet. 
Not that I've been meaning to hide it, but I should probably clear that up right away. Uh, you don't have to. They could probably figure it out the moment you off school grounds and you hold hands together. All right, so Tomo, looks like you were right about what the reason I was fussing over Sachi so much. Uh. <laughs> I see. Did you tell her? Yeah, it went well. I see. Well, congratulations. What are you, t what are you talking about? Oh, uh, how do I answer that? Like I said, I'm not exactly trying to hide it. But I have a feeling Kimmy would go crazy over me admitting that I have a crush. And I don't know if Sachi can deal with that. I'll tell you about it later. That's a good wingman. Thanks, Tomo. What? What? I guess I don't mind if you tell me later, but now I'm really curious. Um, Senpai? Sachi doesn't seem to get either. And she looks up at me with a puzzled expression. I'll tell you about it later as well. Might as well take some time, but I'm sure Sachi will be comfortable around these two soon enough. <laughs> what do you think of Akemi and Tomo? Not too bad, right? Not at all. Tomo Senpai seemed a little scary at first, but I realized that. Don't mind that. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Tomo Senpai seemed a little scary at first, but I realized that he wasn't scary at all once I started talking to him. Akemi Senpai is really cheerful and lively, and they're both really nice. Akemi wanted to talk home. Akemi wanted to walk home with Sachi and me after school, but her and Tomo's houses are in the opposite direction. As Tomo was dragging her off, so she waved at Sachi and yelled, See you tomorrow! And we started heading home ourselves, taking the same path we always do. You know, if she's bothering you, there's nothing wrong with telling her off. She's, she certainly has a lot of energy, but I really like being around her. If I could talk to people as easy as she does, I think I'd be really happy. I'm glad, you I'm glad you like her so much. I think you'll get used to their quirks. To be honest, I haven't known them that long myself. I've never had plans for the weekend, though, aside from our... Uh, uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to going out with them, everyone. It's going to be great. Akemi came up with a good plan this time, it seems. But yeah, let's let, loose, let's let loose and have some fun. Okay, I'll try. There is no try to have fun. Just, you know, have fun. <clears throat> That's not what I meant. It's just, I have a lot to worry about, man. What do you mean? We're going to be hanging out with other people, so I don't want to look all shabby like this, with my clothes all tattered and stuff, since I'm her girlfriend now. I mean... That would be nice. I, I would like I would like you to be look a little better if you weren't a girlfriend. Um, get a little patchwork done in your clothes. You look a little nicer. I, that'd be a that'd be good all together, girl. I can't change my face. I don't have any stylish clothes, but I can at least brush my hair and cover up my wounds. Well, yeah, that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should take off the badge off my head, too. Oh, right. Senpai? Yes? Do you ever want to touch my scar? Let's go. Let's get ready to get a little handsy feet. Get your... Stretch out your hands. You know, in between. Go like that. Twist your wrist around. Lightly pull. Now for the other side. Okay, release. We're about to get handsy, everyone. Let's go. Huh? I didn't think she'd ever bring up that up again. I'm not really sure what to say. The one on my forehead, I mean, it doesn't hurt anymore, so it's fine if you want to touch it. D do you? That, um, I mean, last time you let me, it was because you wanted to repay me. Is that what you're doing now? I'm still grateful to you, Namoro Senpai. I still want to repay you, but I'm your girlfriend, so this time it's because I want to make you happy.
again, touching scars because it'll make me you happy. She's weirdly cute. <laughs> She's such adorably cute. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. That does make me happy. No, no. I do want to. The words came out of my mouth before I could stop myself. Okay. She seems set on it. I guess I can't take... I guess I can't get out of this. I know she wants to do something nice for me, but is this kind of strange? Not that I don't have any interest in touching her scars. Not that I don't have any interest in touching her scars, but... You have an interest in touching your scars? <laughs> That's just a... I mean... I got a little scar right, right here on my chin. It's not like I go out of my way to... Hmm, I gotta touch it today. Or, even if I had a... Even if there was a person who said... Is that a scar on your chin? I'm like, yes. Can I touch it? No. <laughs> the oddities. Wait. Are we doing this here? Are we on the way home from school? I guess we are on the street without anyone else around. But... <laughs> But Oh, um Ah, this way, Senpai. Where is she taking me? She takes me by the hand and leads me into a narrow alleyway between two buildings. <laughs> hey, uh Okay. Can you take off my bandage, please? Okay. <laughs> taking a weird turn here. In an alleyway. Okay then. She leans her back against the nearby wall and then looks at me. Expectantly. Moving here hasn't really changed anything. It'll just be a lot stranger if anyone happens upon us. Just a little bit. And anyone who walks past this alleyway probably will be able to see us. The space between touching me suddenly seems almost solid. But I force myself to wade through it as she keeps her eye laser focused on me. Alright. Just a sec. Can't help but hesitate a bit, but after a moment, I steal myself, I put my own bag next to Sachi's, and face her. Right. I have to take off her bandages first, I guess. I reach my hand towards Sachi's bandages and begin to unfasten them as Sachi tilts her head forward, closing her eye. I'm only taking off her bandages. I'm only taking off her bandages. I'm only taking off her bandages. But suddenly she looks completely vulnerable. I start to feel like I'm about to... Violate her somehow? Begin to unravel the badges from her head, looping them around my hands so they won't fall to the floor. As I remove more and more of the wrapping, the gauze beneath it begins to show. Finally, I get the last of it off, and I discard what I've collected on top of our stuff. Just in a, don't worry people, we're just in a dark alleyway. It's perfectly fine, perfectly normal. It's okay. Nothing to see here. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I believe that sucker. With the bandages off her head, Sachi opens her eye and looks up at me. I look down to meet her eye as it gleams wetly from the faint light that penetrates the alley. I definitely say they did a good work with the art, the shading. Spot on, guys. Gazing at the upturned eye before me. I suddenly feel like I'm falling into it. The feeling is so intense, and I can't tear myself away from that black pit. Go ahead. Oh my. She shuts her eye again, closing what little distance is left between us. She puts her hand to my chest and leans into me. Yes, thank you. This makes it so much better. Her hand touches me, takes her hand in a little while. Her touch takes me by surprise, but after that moment, I put my own hand on her shoulder. I smooth over her messy hair with my free hand and brush her bangs away from her eye. I feel her shoulder tense. Tense. I feel her shoulder tense as I run my fingers over her hair. She must be as nervous as I am. The scar that was hidden beneath the bandages is right on the right side of her head, just below her hairline. The outline of the wound has started to turn dark purple like a bruise. But the wound itself, a slanted cut, has all but closed up. The cut isn't actually that big, but the dark outline makes it worse than it really is. I steady my hand over her temple and gently brush my finger over the wound, trying my best not to hurt her. 
On the side of my hand, over her face, she lets out a, the breath she's been holding. The strength seems to drain out of her. I feel the weight of her slight body press on my chest as she leans into me more. I keep my hand steady. I trace the wound, making sure to be even more careful than I was with the one on her hand. The heart of this wound is rough, in contrast to the smoother edges. My fingers seem to keep coming back to it. Mm. Sachi suddenly seems to be completely exhausted. I'm exhausted, god dang. And her shoulders shudders beneath my hand. The hand over her wound freezes up. Sachi opens her eye and looks up at me again. Hey, we're I'm a, Oh my gosh, guys. What is going on here? What is going on? Ugh. So, please down in the comments. <laughs> comment, how do you feel about all this handsy time we're having with our little Cyclops? Um, so, thank you for watching. Hope you liked this episode. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more visual novel of this crazy little love at first sight. And we'll see how things go. Um, obviously, things are heating up on the relationship side and clearly something's going to have to happen in the towards the end and I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end uh, based on just general time but uh, time played so we'll see you soon I'll see you next time as well stick around, please subscribe catch more of my videos Good night. <laughs>